Hark! Today's journey will uncover all the epic details that make comics what they are and give you a pathway to create your very own print or digital comic books. My name is Mr. Sherman and I will lead you on today's journey to learn and create. I have been exploring comics with modern learners in libraries, classrooms, and as part of the Kate Crusaders Comic Book Club since 2009. Comics are a style of telling a story. A comic is when you purposely put two or more pictures in a certain order or sequence. Objects that use comics are graphic novels, comic books, ancient Egyptian sequential drawings, Aztec codex, Japanese scrolls, and more. For example, here's just a picture. And now it's a comic! We're gonna read this comic from left to right. However, a comic sequence can be different if the author prefers, or depending on the literacy norms of where it was created. Now let's look at another example. Here's just another picture. And now it's a comic! Now obviously, those comics are simple and you probably have some questions about what happened. That's why planning out an adventure with rough sketches and keywords before starting is so critical for the creator. Making a longer sequence of pictures with a detailed beginning, middle, and end allows the creator to tell a more intriguing story. Next, let's talk about how to navigate some of the features you will find in a comic book. Comic book writers and artists frame pictures of important parts of the story using panels. These can be different sizes depending on how important the scene is. Comic books let the reader see dialogue using word bubbles and thought bubbles. Comic books have narrators. The narrator dialogue shows up in a word box and is often colored yellow. Comic books add action to stories through sound effect bubbles, where vibrant expressions and shapes add sound effects to your imagination. Comic book creators also need pictures for the panels in their story. People sometimes write and draw comics on their own, but a lot of the time, it's a collaboration between artists and writers. There are a few options to create your own pictures. Many creators draw on paper, design artwork on special artist computers, or use photographs of posed objects. The main thing to remember is that everyone has the power to draw. Drawings are just a series of shapes, lines, colors, and textures organized together. Comics have an epic secret feature that makes them even better. Comics use something called gutters to give the reader a powerful part to play in how the story unfolds just for them. The reader gets to use their imagination to decide how events play out from one panel to the next. Let's look at a few examples. Let's look at the gutter from the simple comic we saw earlier. The reader gets to decide how the apple reached the ground. Were the apples too gigantic to stay on the tree? Perhaps it was the result of a mutant squirrel attack. Maybe somebody plucked it out of the tree and decided they didn't want to eat it after all. Let's try another. What happened to the trophy? Did it turn invisible? Maybe a jealous competitor hid the trophy. Perhaps it just floated away. The reader gets to decide what happened between the comic book panels thanks to the gutter. Now that you know all there is to know about comics, you now have the power to create your own comic book. This comic book creator template for Google Slides will allow you to create your very own comic book. You'll then be able to publish that to the web, download as a PDF to share with friends, or print out to read on paper. To download your own copy of the Comic Book Creator Template, visit bit.ly forward slash comic hyphen creator hyphen v1. To access the accompanying how-to video, visit bit.ly forward slash comic hyphen creator hyphen how-to. To dive deeper into the world of comic books and the creative process behind making them, be sure to download the Caped Crusaders Visual Literacy Grid 
to explore all the ideas. The download details will be in the video description below. Thank you for learning with me today. Reading is epic.